everyone, welcome to a new episode of Crypto Tips. This is supposed to be a live stream, but internet is not working for us so much right now. Um, but we have an alternative plan. So tomorrow, check us live at this time. Oh, what time is it? Uh, 10 p.m. No. <laughs> 9 p.m. Eastern time is when we go live. That will be our new time frame. Um, we haven't decided on a day of the week, maybe perhaps a weekend. Um, but anyway, tomorrow, we're going to try it again. So tune in tomorrow, 9 p.m. Eastern time to catch us live. Anyway, thank you for everyone who did try to join this live stream today. Uh, I asked you guys in the live chat to leave your questions so that we can at least address those and then we'll have a real live so you guys can really interact with us tomorrow. Anyway, let's get to those questions. So just one, oh, okay. one thing I want to talk about. Okay, yeah. you're experiencing a little dip right now yes. uh, with Bitcoin. Yes. Just keep in mind that 81 million Bitcoin have been taken off exchanges over the last five hours and yes. put on to cold storage. Exactly. So, so guys, like this this is like these are whales you know they're they're buying it up and they're buying it up from people that are scared that are selling that don't know what the heck's going on with bitcoin that aren't watching this channel and then aren't subscribed to our patreon and freaking they're they're selling and and it's really sad because they're going to have to be buying back at a higher price and this is what happens this is psych psychologically what will happen to people uh, they will sell. Yeah. Unless you know what is going on in this space and you'll get excited when you see these these dips. All right, guys. So that's exactly that's it. Don't don't be a weak hand in this space. Yeah, You're always talking about strong hands shaking out the weak hands. This is that yeah. uh, happening. So have strong hands. Hold on to it and accumulate more if you can. Um, yeah, it's always good to buy some Bitcoin. So All right, let's get some questions here. Yeah. Uh, first question here is from Silas. Thank you for your question. He said, any good alternatives to Uniswap for buying ETH alts such as paid and KYL, etc.? Uniswap made off with my fee last night but kept the coin. I heard this happens a lot. Thanks. I know PancakeSwap has been taking off. It's on the Binance Smart Chain. Um, that could be something to check out. Also, you know, there's other uh, decentralized exchanges on Ethereum like Kyber or OneInch. Um, I don't know how they compare with fees, but maybe their one inch at least could be better because I know it's kind of an aggregator um, of all the other decentralized exchanges. So you could have, have the potential to have the best um, fee, uh, fee payment with that one. Um, yeah. What about from Josh? Question, will you take part in the upcoming IDO on Ray? Media something is the project. Have Potentially. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll, uh, I'm looking in more into these things. Um, yeah, it's, uh, I mean, IDOs, when they do arrive on the exchanges, like they pump and then they dump. So just be careful with IDOs, you know, um, unless, make sure that you get in. If you're, if there's like a certain time frame, make mm -hmm. sure you get into that time frame. Otherwise, just relax. Uh, also pay attention to the lockup schedule if yeah. there is a lockup period. Yeah, I don't know if there's a lockup schedule for that. Okay. But um, yeah, so I mean Solana, the the ecosystem is amazing. Um, super crazy transaction speeds. It's very cheap, like ridiculous cheap. Like what is it? You can you can do a million transactions for about ten dollars on the Solana ecosystem. So mm -hmm. like guys, <laughs> and it's layer one. You don't even need a layer two. So yeah. I, I'm really bullish on anything coming from Solana um, right now. So, but but also be careful because you know these IDOs can be very risky. Uh, so just be really Obviously. careful that you are not putting too much. Don't in. Don't go all in. Yeah. Only after, in my opinion, establish a really solid position in solid cryptocurrencies first before you start venturing out because the risk is very real and it's there. Profits mm -hmm. can be made as well, but they're a lot more volatile. They move a lot more quickly and long-term perspective isn't necessarily there for these risky coins either. Yeah. Um, Andreas Lara asked, will you guys let us know when you take profits on ADA and Sol? Also, what are your target targets, Toby, on Sol? Sol, I'm looking at at least a double from here. I mean, yeah. that's super conservative because guys, I don't know what the price is gonna do. Once we hit like a crazy face melting alt season, 
guys, prices can do anything. Like if you told yeah. me that when I was buying Binance at 50 cents that it was going to go to $600. Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, I, I, I had no idea this that would happen. Obviously, nobody did. And if yeah. they say they did, they're lying. And if they knew that, they would have put all every cent that they <laughs> yeah, owned into exactly. it. They don't because they don't know what it's going to do. So yeah. the best you can do is put a little bit in and see what happens. So Andreas, if you are, I think you might be a Patreon member because I think you also posted this on our Patreon post. So if you are, then yes, you, I, we will be letting you know when we start taking profits. That's the whole point um, is, you know, with our trade alerts and things like this is obviously everyone is hyped up about the bull run and what, what fun is a bull run if you don't take some profits as well. So we will absolutely be telling our Patreon members uh, when we're taking profits, why, what we're doing with them and all that stuff. Um, so if, if you're not a Patreon member, for those of you who are watching, if you haven't joined our Patreon, I encourage you to check it out. A link for that can be found down below in the video description. Yep, and I am very active in that. Yeah. And so just, be, I, I do post a lot of different coins that I'm going into. So don't be overwhelmed by the yeah. amount of coins that I'm getting into because you don't need to get in all of these coins. I'm, yeah. I'm a, some parts are very risky. Some parts are very conservative. So I would, and if, especially if you're new to crypto or to our Patreon at all, I encourage you to check out our portfolio updates. You can find the portfolio section at the top of the home page um, and just go through and please read the description that I posted underneath those images because it explains pretty much our investing strategy, why we're holding those coins, how that portfolio has changed compared to the past month, and it'll give you a better idea of you know why we're investing in, and the way that we are. Yeah. Um, anyway, um, by now, uh, this is with Ahmed. By now, I know there is huge gains to be made in cryptos, but what are your reasonable expectations for this bull run? 100x, 1,000x, what, for the entire market cap? Yeah, for a, a particular it depends coin? on what coin, you know? I mean, yeah. there are some coins that are going up like 90,000%, you know? And uh, I mean, I'm not, I don't care about those coins as much. I, I, just, I really don't, like, I, I'm, I've been in this space long enough to where I realize that, you know, put a little bit of like spread a little bit of dust everywhere mm -hmm. and just see what hits you know mm -hmm. what i mean so in other words put a little bit of money into and super risky coins and see if they go because if they do if you pick a hundred and uh and two or three of them pop like that that makes up for all the rest mm -hmm. by far and so just um you know i think bitcoin if it does go into a super cycle we could hit we could potentially hit a million dollars or more. Um, I mean, why not? It's, it's not a crazy number. It's only, you know, a 20x from here or less. So, I mean, that's, that's nothing compared to, you know, how much currency is actually being printed and stuff. Um, yeah, so I, I, I wouldn't be surprised on that. But as far as right now, let's take one step at a time. Nobody knows what the price of Bitcoin is going to do. Nobody knows what the price of Ethereum is going to do. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, Crypto Footsteps asked, is this a correction? Do you think this market cycle is different? Thanks in advance. Big time different. This market, yeah. style, this market cycle is ridiculously different I mean, from it is every a other one. Is it a correction? Well, I mean, it's, it's a little it's a correction. Dip. It's a yeah. little dip. A correction, a dip. a dip. I mean, they're all the same thing. Yeah, it's pretty similar. Um, so, but, but as far as like the being Michael different, yeah. like, oh man, like, there's so many institutional investors buying this stuff and yeah. that's why you're not seeing like these 30 to 40 percent dips yeah guys like if they it, don't last very long either no they're they like really any. fast yeah and yeah they're trying their best to like scare people out of coins which is kind of sad but you know i think you have wall street players in here yeah. now that are just but what's Rocking interesting what's interesting also what's different this time around compared to say the bull run in 2017 is the people we're talking to we're hanging out with the people in the live chat or in our comments on YouTube um, they're really eager to buy the dip this used to be something that like no one ever wanted to do because when well, 2017 at least no one knew what Bitcoin was so they were really scared because of that unknown you know, longevity, long-term perspective of Bitcoin, why it's important, why it's valuable. People didn't understand that. So once the, the price started dropping, they thought, oh, it was over. Like it was a bubble, the bubble popped. No, it didn't. It was a much bigger, you know, thing happening. Um, but so it's really interesting now. I think it's the level of education that's available and 
a lot more awareness of cryptocurrencies compared to the fiat currency system is much stronger than it was in the past. So there's a lot more people who are eager to buy the dip in addition to the institutional, just even retail investors are, are even more educated, which is really good. Well, well also okay. like back, back in 2016, 17, like Heidi, Heidi was like one of the only female YouTubers out there. And yeah. then there wasn't that many YouTubers out there. And so all the YouTubers that you probably see and watch or most of them, they've come through the last uh, yeah. bull run, they, you know? They've just cropped up very recently. And, and, and then a lot of them just came up very, very recently, yeah. bought a bunch of subscribers, and then yeah. and then here they go. Oh, I'm famous now. But, you know, so just, just keep in mind that's yeah. kind of... And they're probably going to go away when the bear market shows up, too. Definitely. If you guys are actually interested in learning about the ins and outs of cryptocurrencies, stick around during a bear market because much like what, what we're experiencing managing this channel and our Patreon group and all the social medias is that during a bull run, there's so much attention and so much crowds shuffling in. You get kind of caught up in, in managing that part of it rather than the deep dives, researching, um, building out other things. Um, and the same is said for exchanges, for cryptocurrency platforms themselves, the networks, wallets. Um, they get kind of bogged down by the users flooding in and having to manage that end of it. And then the really interesting things actually happen during a bear market after they've seen some profit from the past bull run. Now it's quiet. They can, you know, put their nose down and really start pumping out some really cool innovations, maybe more security, more privacy. Hopefully we'll get some of those things uh, a lot more attention as well. Um, but yeah, so for those of you who are interested in crypto, it's it's really cool to, to stick around during the bear market. A lot of people tend to leave. I've had so many people show up in the comments like, oh, good to see you again. It's been a couple of years. Yeah, yeah, you should stick around. It's, it's really interesting <laughs> around here. So David Wainwright yeah. said, what is the benefit of holding USDC over just USD? Yeah, well, there's, that's a good question. There, there, okay, so number one, there's you have uh, market pairs. So most yeah. things can be, most most coins can be bought with USDC. Yeah. Um, if not USDT or whatever. Um, but USD, no. Um, also, it's, um, I mean, it depends on where you're sending your USD. You know, if it's on, I don't know if you can do it on Binance that much, but. I mean, for me, USDC is a cryptocurrency. So it has that layer of, again, peer-to-peer -peer sharing, peer-to-peer -peer transactions, instant, uh, any day or night, whatever mm -hmm. the holidays, is not a bank schedule. Um, so it has that benefit as well as if you are in a country that only applies tax when you cash from cryptocurrency to fiat currency, um, that way you can use USDC instead of USD um, or any, if let's say you're in Europe or somewhere, you can use the, the Euro equivalent. Um, you can lock away your profits and keep it within the cryptocurrency uh, ecosystem rather than entering the fiat system into USD where you would have a taxable event. Um, I know the US, the United States taxes every cryptocurrency to cryptocurrency trade, cryptocurrency to fiat trade. It's, they, they're getting a piece of all of your transactions in that way. So um, <clears throat> for you, it would just be beneficial, again, to have that cryptocurrency ability with USDC. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it is t pegged to that fiat currency. So, you know, you're not escaping f inflation or anything like that with USDC. I don't want but, any USD. Just, yeah. just to let you guys know, that's <laughs> not where I my game is. Yeah, yeah. So basically, the benefits of USDC is that it's a cryptocurrency. Um, it might not be a taxable event for you trading pairs that's super helpful um and yeah you can you can a lot of different exchanges uh support usdc so you can you can send it from one exchange to the, to the other to if you need to buy a coin that's listed there uh silas that's yeah? a good question um i would be interested to hear where you guys keep alts that can't be stored on ledger yeah i mean you can essentially put it into a key store file somewhere on a yeah. most yeah most cryptocurrencies have either a desktop wallet that you can store it on um so it's not on a website or yeah like a key store file and then from there you can put it onto a usb drive and uh, encrypt it and then that way it's very secure um it's pretty secure yeah yeah uh, we go further than that but i mean it, yeah for, for example. simplicity yeah 
Um, I mean, there's some altcoins that are super speculative for us and it's really not even worth the space that the wallet would take on my computer or the effort to secure it. We just keep it on an exchange for Bi like Binance, for example. I know it, like, I, I'm not keeping my Bitcoin or Ethereum or like my big investments. No it's way. like a very small percentage that we keep on an exchange. It's just for convenience and, you know, no harm, no foul pretty much for that. If it does, if finance goes for broke or steals it or whatever, it's like, I'm not going to cry about it. Um, yeah. Which it's exchanges do you use to purchase crypto, Sean asks. Um, Binance? Binance mostly for these random coins that maybe aren't Ethereum based. We use uh, Uniswap. Again, the fees are so crazy. Um, one inch has been one that I've used as well. Uh, I haven't looked into PancakeSwap. I know that one's going crazy on the Binance Smart Chain. That could be good. Also Kraken, I've used that as a fiat on-ramp before. And, um, and also uh, like Solana. Um, yeah, you're into that. I F think uh, Radium can be bought on uh, FTX as well, yeah, so. Solana's FTX, also, they also have a DEX, um, but maybe it's not the most user-friendly yet. Yeah, which is to be we can expected. put some of the links below for you. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, can top 10 altcoins still 10X from here, or is it smaller due to the huge market caps? I mean, me. I'm guys, trying to weigh guys, the risk versus gains. These are not like huge market caps, guys. These are not yeah. like, if you're comparing this to the stock market or something yeah. where every, you got to understand everything here is going to be digitalized. Everything in the Tokenized, stock market. Yeah. I mean, millennials aren't going to want to deal with a market that closes or, after five days of being open yeah. and then or to shuts, deal with a broker like someone else no, to do it. You know, nobody's I mean? going to deal yeah. with that anymore. Like it's, yeah. it's over for these guys, like either either switch to a tokenized economy or just die. You know, I like mean, there's no point unless he's talking about like within this bull run, you know, altcoins, top 10 altcoins, still 10x from here within this bull run. Probably it could. Yeah. yeah like if, if Bitcoin goes to 600 and, or 54 or $540,000. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised. But if you're trying to weigh the risk, the risk versus the gains, basically you're trying to say, okay, how much should I let my greed take over my decision making? That to me is what that sounds like. Um, it is a bull run. There will, there are still gains to be made, far less so than if you had bought six months ago, a year ago. Obviously, um, some of these coins didn't even exist a year ago, which is crazy. Like Solana, for example. Okay, <laughs> let me let me put but, Ethereum for yeah. example. Okay, like. I remember when in 2017 when Ethereum was at like 20 or 20 bucks and um, that was in my mind like the start of the Ethereum bull run and it ended up going to about 1395 or something like that um, dollars from $20. So you know we just passed Ethereum's USD all time high. Mm -hmm. um, not too long ago, you know, it's only, it hasn't even doubled or, or has, no, don't think it's doubled. Nope. Hasn't doubled. So yeah, yeah. We haven't even doubled that yet. So like, keep that in mind. Like this is how far bull runs can go. Like bull, bull markets can go. Um, especially if it is a super cycle, yeah, um, that's this could go really high, like cra to the point where you actually won't even believe the number on your screen that's how crazy bull runs can be. Cause I remember waking up one time in 2017, I had to like, I had to refresh a couple times just to, I, cause I couldn't believe the numbers. That's what a bull yeah. run is. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, one question, uh, Rico Cordovas asked, is USDC taxable if you convert it back to fiat? If you're talking, I'm guessing you're in the US. Um, again, if you're converting any crypto into USDC, that is a taxable event. And if you're converting from USDC to fiat, that is also taxable in that you, sh you need to report it. Um, you're obviously not making any gains with that transaction. So like, it's not going to, you know, make you need to pay anything, but you're going to have to report it because it was activity within cryptocurrency. Hmm. Um, Theta. And also, for, right, also, I highly, I am not a tax expert. I'm not a tax professional. I highly recommend if you are doing a lot of trades or if you're just uneasy about, you know, dealing with a tax situation, find a, do some work and find a tax accountant. 
a, a crypto accountant or a tax attorney, a tax accountant, and they will help you formulate and have a good expectation of what you owe, basically. And, and, and the, you know, since we've renounced, we've really like, because I have been very much like a hawk trying to figure out taxes in the U.S. Um, when we were paying, okay? Mm -hmm. So now that we are not U.S. citizens, we're a tax-free nation, we don't really look at yeah. Taxes anymore. We don't, we don't study about it. about it anymore. It's like amazing. it's not stressful. Like we're done. We're done with it. So yeah. like, but if some people say like, hey, this is what they require and stuff, we kind of learn that as well to help you guys out. So yeah. yeah. Um, Thoran, Thoran Falk Olson. <laughs> okay. Sorry I, if I messed up your name. Do you think F will detach from BTC price movements? If so, where do you see F going now as Bitcoin is correcting? I think it has right now a little bit. I mean, yeah. just look at the ETH. The, okay, so you have the Bitcoin dominance it's, dropping. It's usually kind of detached from Bitcoin though, right? Or at least delayed. I mean, I mean, it's not directly. And okay. in the past, <laughs> it was getting like Bitcoin gets smashed a little, ETH just gets walloped. Yeah, that's true, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So right now you have Bitcoin getting smashed under, I think it's at 48% uh, Bitcoin dominance, which is a really good number to, to look at because that usually indicates kind of alt season. Yeah. Um, and so you have the, the Ethereum dominance actually rising, which is good because that usually brings up the alts with it because, you know, Ethereum, a lot of a lot of projects are built on Ethereum. Yeah. So there are uh, tons are built on uh, solidity. So that's it, you know? Yeah. Um, I'm excited about yeah. that. Very excited. These are great questions, guys. Thank you so much for sticking around in the live chat and sending these for us. Yeah, for sure. One last question. It's a good one from yeah. Anthony Roberts. When you see these sell offs happening, do you just wait it out or sell a few bags? Here's the thing, guys. You need to do the opposite. If the price is going down, you need to think this is your opportunity to buy. Mm -hmm. We know that this is not the end of the bull run yet. There will be an end to the bull run, but not yet. Um, this is a very typical correction happening. Um, so if you've been waiting for your opportunity to buy certain coins, look for the ones that are on sale. Look for the ones that are in red. Um, and then you can get some at a cheaper price and then write it out and see what happens. Um, so yeah, basically we're either just waiting because I mean, our, we're holding our main coins for like ever, very long term. Bitcoin forever. I'm not absolutely. selling Bitcoin. Bitcoin forever. I'm not selling Bitcoin. Um, Ethereum also very, very long term um, and other altcoins maybe like five years or so at least. Um, but yeah, so we're waiting it out with those coins. But yeah, our altcoins, we're not going to be selling at a loss or selling at a dip. We're going to be selling when it's rising because that's when you want to take profits when it's you can you can like dollar cost average out of your position by like say you're taking out um, the uh, the dollar amount of coins out. So then you're taking out less and less coins each time. But the dollar amount or the whatever fiat currency or stable coin you're comparing it to is the same. So then you can still have coins there to write out the top and uh, see what happens with the profits. I think that's a really good way. But yeah, definitely don't. You don't want to sell. You don't want to sell low and buy high. You want to buy low and sell high. That's that's the trick, guys. So guys, <laughs> like and subscribe this yes. channel, and also check out learningcrypto.com. Yes. Uh, for Heidi's daily or weekly newsletter, yes. it's incredible. And um, yeah, we'll stay connected in case anything happens with YouTube. Um, you can find uh, all of our information there. I'll let you know how we're doing. Also check out Library and check out our other social medias on Twitter, Blockchain Chick. Uh, Toby is just Jack Sats, and also on Instagram, uh, we are Real Crypto Tips. Check us out. I do some funny stuff. A lot of puppy dogs. And, and Toby and Trouble, stuff. but I don't really post a lot of crypto stuff check on out, it. Check out, check out, check out Toby Trouble. So, but anyway, thank you everyone for tuning in today, and we'll catch you tomorrow. Uh, I keep wanting to say noon Eastern time. Tomorrow, 9 p.m. Eastern time, we'll be going live. We, so check us we out will there. try our best because yes. w so what we're going to have to do is like we're going to have to plug in the Internet. Yeah, to, directly to the Ethernet cable. Yeah, so. Oh, I don't have an attachment for that. Well, guys. Oh, guys, maybe we're not going to go live. All no, no, here. no. OK, let, let's see what happens. <laughs> and then if we post, if we post it that we are going to be live, we'll be then live. We'll be live right? for sure. Cool. Yes. Uh, <laughs> anyway, thank you, everyone. And uh, the beauty of traveling. We'll see you again. Soon. Yeah. Have see a you guys. One. Oh, stay disobedient. <laughs> Please stay disobedient. Always. Yeah. Okay.